All right, gamers, hold on to your controllers because we've got some massive news today that's bound to shake up the world of Rainbow Six. Cameron Lee, the vice president of the Rainbow Six franchise at Ubisoft, has officially left the company. Yeah, you heard that right. The man in charge of one of Ubisoft's most iconic and beloved franchises is gone. So, what does this mean for the future of Rainbow Six Siege and Ubisoft's plans for the series? Let's break it down. Cameron Lee's name may not be as well known to casual players, but in the gaming industry, he's a powerhouse. This guy's been in the game for over 20 years, working on titles like Dead Space, Call of Duty, and even The Godfather. Ubisoft brought him on in 2022, and his role was clear. Shape the future of Rainbow Six, build the brand strategy, and keep Siege going strong while hopefully developing new titles. But now, with him gone, there are some big question marks hanging over the future of the franchise. First off, let's talk about the impact on Rainbow Six Siege. Siege has been Ubisoft's golden child since its release in 2015. It's built an insanely dedicated community and it's one of the most strategically intense shooters out there. So, with Lee's departure, could we see a shift in focus? Will Ubisoft double down on Siege or are they planning to move in a new direction entirely? One thing's for sure the lack of a vice president at the helm means some serious changes could be on the horizon. But it's not just about Siege, what about the rest of the Rainbow Six universe? We've seen spin-offs like Rainbow Six Extraction, but let's be honest, it didn't quite hit the mark the way Siege did. And let's not forget that there are rumors of a brand new Rainbow Six title floating around. With a massive leadership gap, the question is, will Ubisoft continue expanding the franchise or could we see a slowdown in new projects? Now, let's address Ubisoft as a whole. The company has been facing some rough waters, lately delayed games, underwhelming launches and internal shakeups have become pretty common headlines. And now, with Cameron Lee leaving, is this just a sign of more turbulence ahead? Ubisoft isn't in a rush to replace him, which makes us wonder if they're rethinking their whole approach to the Rainbow Six series and beyond. What's even more interesting is that Lee's next move is still unknown. Is he headed to another major studio? Is he taking a break from the gaming industry altogether? The guy has a history of moving between big players like E, Bungie and Activision, so wherever he lands next could be a huge win for that company. But let's not forget about the fans Siege players have been vocal about what they want from the game, and with this sudden leadership change, they're bound to have even more questions. Will this affect the ongoing updates and new content for Siege? Will the community see the kind of support and innovation they've grown used to? Or could this be the start of a new era, for better or worse? So, what do you think? Is this the beginning of a major shakeup for Rainbow Six, or will Ubisoft keep things business as usual? Whatever happens next, it's clear that the departure of Cameron Lee is going to leave a big impact on one of the most important franchises in tactical shooters. Keep your eyes on Ubisoft, because the next few months are going to be very telling about the future of Rainbow Six.